What is rasterizing in Illustrator? Well, Illustrator shapes and objects are made up of paths and your computer constantly redraws those paths even as you zoom in. Pressing Z, clicking and dragging, I can zoom in nearly forever and those paths and objects will remain as sharp as a tack because your computer knows the exact path that we're drawing on. And so it'll display them in that way. When we rasterize an element, so let's say this circle on the right, we go up to object down to raster. We can adjust the color mode, the resolution, and also whether or not it has a white or transparent background. Generally, maybe you want transparent and then some other options down here like anti-aliasing, etc. The resolution here determines the pixel resolution of the image that it's going to create. And that's exactly what rasterizing is doing. It's taking a vector object and turning it into an image. In fact, in our properties panel, we have this little image icon here and it shows that this object is now an image. We can drop this down to see that it has actual dimensions, 2116 by 2170. The PPI is 300. That's simply the pixels per inch of this image. You notice, remember we set it as 300. That sort of determined the dimensions or the size. Right now the scale says 24. So if we zoom in, this is still going to appear the same as our other object until we start to zoom in past that scale. As we zoom in, eventually we're going to notice a difference. I'm gonna pull this image a little bit closer to this shape and I know it's gonna be on a small screen for you guys so let's get way in there check it out the shape on the left is still a vector it's got a path that the computer knows that path is there can use math behind the scenes and calculate a perfect shape no matter what level we zoom at a rasterized image is made up of a specific amount of pixels so those pixels are now visible because we've zoomed as you can see down here 9,000 plus percent in so that's the difference this image is a set amount of pixels if we scale it up and down we're going to start to see those pixels depending on how much we zoom in. Whereas this vector shape can continue to be drawn by the computer no matter how large we scale it up. Now images like photos that we take, cameras create those images out of pixels. So those photos will never be vectors. So they have a set resolution, a set dimension in pixels that they are. So this shape is only gonna be good printing or viewing online at a certain view percentage. And once you go past that, you'll start to see these pixels. That's the main difference between a vector and a raster image here in Illustrator.